U.S. broadcaster Fox News has agreed to settle a defamation lawsuit by voting technology company Dominion for nearly $800 million. It means that Fox will avoid a trial over allegations that it helped spread false claims that Dominion's voting machines helped rig the 2020 election against Donald Trump. It was set to be a landmark trial, a defamation case against the largest U.S. news broadcaster, scheduled to last for six weeks. But it was over before it even started. Reporters and spectators had gathered inside the courtroom in Delaware when the judge announced that the case had been resolved. Fox News Corporation and voting technology company Dominion had reached a settlement, with Fox agreeing to pay Dominion 787.5 million US dollars. While Fox News' legal team did not give any comments on leaving the court, the company later published a statement saying that they did acknowledge the court's rulings, finding certain claims about Dominion to be false, but offered no apology. Lawyers for Dominion called the settlement a victory for democracy. The truth matters. Lies have consequences. Over two years ago, a torrent of lies swept Dominion and election officials across America into an alternative universe of conspiracy theories causing grievous harm to Dominion and the country. The lawsuit by Dominion, which sells voting machines and election software, alleged that Fox News knowingly aired false claims that the company's machines had been used to rig the 2020 presidential election against Donald Trump. Those claims helped fuel the outrage that led many Trump supporters to storm the Capitol in January of 2021. Many Trump backers still believe the election was rigged. While the settlement is a heavy price to pay for the media company, it is only about half of what Dominion was suing for. And it has saved Fox News from further public scrutiny and its top anchors and Fox's founder, Rupert Murdoch, from having to take the stand. So will this settlement put an end to claims by some Trump supporters that the election was rigged? I put that to Washington correspondent Ami Anesif. Well, right. This was a widespread conspiracy theory. It was behind the impetus. It was the impetus of the January 6th riots, where so many people believed that Trump had won the election. They were willing to storm the Capitol building to stop uh, Biden from being um, inaugurated, uh, being basically um, given the presidency. So. This was it's a very widespread conspiracy theory. I don't think this trial is going to put a dent in that. But what it might do is prevent Fox News, which really did uh, broadcast a lot of these voices behind the conspiracy theory, prevent them from uh, broadcasting these voices again. And Trump is set to run for president in 2024. Uh, so and he's set to use this uh, narrative about the rigged election again. So if Fox News can't broadcast that. That will certainly hurt Trump's um, attempt here.